Hey Scumbria, uh, we are gonna be heading north to do some deer hunting, and so there might be a little lag between videos. We're way behind, we got some work to catch up on. Uh, but in the meantime, we got this great uh, bluefish, uh, smoking bluefish video for you. Uh, we also wanted to share something with you that we kind of think is funny. You may or may not put it in the comments, but long before Scumbria was ever Scumbria, uh, we used to make a few videos just for friends and family. And uh, since we're doing a, a smoked uh, smoke bluefish video, um, well, this is not the first smoked bluefish video we ever did. We did this one, uh, I would say maybe 15, no, probably 20 years ago, uh, right when YouTube first came out. But we're gonna steal the footage from that and we're gonna stick it in front of our video. And uh, you can tell us, have we got better with age or uh, do you wish we made a lot more videos when we were young and crazy? All right, check out these videos. Today is the 3rd of, no, no, the 2nd of November. It's actually a day after uh, the day we filmed all the fishing. Uh, yesterday was opening day of scallop season, so we went diving for scallops, but then I think the GoPro broke and we had camera problems and it rained. So we might have, maybe Alex will throw a few clips from that in. It's November 1st, 2022, and that means it's opening day of scallop season. Let's go. In the meantime, we, uh, I filleted those bluefish yesterday afternoon. Uh, I brined them with brown sugar and salt, and then we brought over Barry's smoker to smoke them. Unfortunately, Barry's smoker uh, had been on the porch and was pretty much on its last legs. I have this smoker that you'll see over here. I, <coughs> excuse me, I salvaged this out of a, a scrap metal pile. We were gonna use it for parts. But in, because we have no other smoker, we kind of combined Barry's charcoal, um, Barry's charcoal smoker with this propane smoker, and we got something kind of going. We're not sure how it's going to turn out, but um, with any luck, uh, it's been in now. I, you'll see the footage. Alex has got some, but while we were loading it, we got smoke in our eyes. So I don't know how good that footage is going to be, but enjoy. Um, and then we're going to wait, uh, I guess, about two hours of this and see how it comes out and snack on some bluefish. Hopefully, either that or um, we'll end up with a pile of charcoal that we'll feed to the chickens. All right, so we're back home. It's like the day, the second day after the last time you saw us. We got this bluefish all filleted. You can see they're huge fillets. We've had it in a brine for 12 hours with some brown sugar and a lot of salt. There is the smoke or the pit master here. He supposedly knows what he's doing. <coughs> but I don't think he does. Put some in the pan. Oops. This is not move the pan yet. Take the man down for the chips. Or don't. Well, it's tough to get in here. Oh, no, 
now I gotta pick up all these little chips. Ugh. This smoker is actually one we found in the metal in a scrap pile somewhere. But we had all this bluefish, so we're um, we're just making the best of it. So if, if you're like a good smoker, put in the comment all the things we're doing wrong. Um, or I guess we're gonna smoke this for how long do you smoke this for? Till they look good. Till they look good. This is not an instructional video. This is more just uh, what we do. Experimental, yeah. This is smoke. There's smoke coming out, so it's obviously doing something. Hey. <laughs> just want to show you guys how beautiful it looks like. It's been about uh, probably an hour and a half. It still needs some time, but I'm just freshening up the chips. We're gonna have to go to um, we're gonna have to go to um, the store and buy some more chips. But they kind of blasted off. The only problem with this was at one point there, they kind of blasted off and got too hot. So luckily we got three tiers of fish because the ones on the bottom might be chicken food then usable, then two, I'm not sure, but yeah, it, it got a little hot. I came out, we like, I don't know, the phone rang, I got busy, came out, it was over 350, which is way too hot. So, uh, I don't know, it's an experiment. I'm not the best at this. It is November 3rd, so it's actually like two and a half days, almost three days since that, that fishing trip. And the last two days, uh, well, we had scallop season in the middle, the last day I've been smoking this fish. Um, it was a really thick piece of fish, and so it took forever, and I don't know how it's going to turn out. But anyway, I finished, <clears throat> excuse me, I finished up the last time I was out here. It was about midnight last night, so it was like 40 last night, so I wasn't worried about it. And we are going to open this up. Oh, I forgot I got the mic on. Is this too loud? Okay. Okay. Open it up and take out the fish. Ugh. Boy, it got smoky. That looks, oh my God, looks really dark, huh? It might almost be too smoked, but because they were so thick, I mean, that looks, what's the word, Alex, black? <laughs> the word is burnt. Well, I don't, but we're going to take a piece inside. It feels good, but last night it was... Yeah. All right, there's that thing. I'll get the second tray. Here, I'll give it to you. It feels good. But Barry came by a lot yesterday night and said, I'll oh, give it another hour. And then I did. But I don't know. Did it look like this last night? It looked, it looked, um, it looked okay. I mean, it's going to be, oh, oh. Just like, F whoa, every time I smoke fish, I have the same conclusion. I'm never doing this again, because it's always more work. But look at that, it's a really, all right. Oh, that's smoky. All right, we got the fish all smoked. It does look really charred, but we had to do that. But if, We'll go cut a piece in half inside and we'll see how it looks or how it tastes. What's more important, it doesn't matter how it looks, right? It's how it tastes. I would agree, but people eat with their eyes. <laughs> oh, wait, thank you for hurting my feelings. It, it does, it looks, I'm gonna get two forks for this nonsense. It looks really, really burned. Well, really dark on the smoke, but let's just, can you see? How do you want me? Mm -hmm. Pull it open. 
Oh, that came out good. It um is fine. The outside definitely did it get really smoky, but the inside Inside's good. It turned out okay. So I did just have a Red Bull because it's like first thing in the morning. So smoked fish and Red Bull is not the best. But um yeah, it came out all right. It actually, I know this is going to sound insane. If you see how dark it is, I could use a little more smoky flavor. <laughs> Falling out of my mouth. Here. No, I'm good. I'm good. No, you have to take. No, 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 no. Yeah. You are tasting it. I didn't have Red Bull, so. Huh? There, take a piece. Let me take the camera. Well, I'll Mm, yeah, it's not bad at all. No, I thought I was worried that, that we did use that. Tell people that if it looks burnt, it's not actually burnt. It's just smoked. Yeah, it's just smoking. It's not the same as pan burn or oven burn. Or oven burn, no. It's not burned at all. It's really smoky. It could use a little more zing. It's, I know this is going to sound crazy, but it almost, maybe it's my, because I just woke up, um, it almost could use a little more saltiness to it. Does that, you know what I mean? But one, a lot of it's going to go into dip anyway, so that's not going to be a problem. Texture's good. Taste is good. Smoke's good. It just looks, it does not look good. I'm not going to lie to you. So this is probably the last fishing video of the year. Uh, the fish are, you know, we are fat and ready to migrate and they can blow out of here any day. So more than likely our next videos will be uh, duck hunting. Uh, check out this duck hunting video from uh, last year where we made some great pate. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, like and subscribe and uh, put a few comments in the comments.